Welcome to Zoho Expense on the mobile. So today I'll be showing you a quick overview of the application, how to move around. Keep in mind this is for Android. However, it's very similar for any Apple or iPhone. So when I first log in, I'll be able to see where my expenses are landing. So you can see that right here in this kind of pie chart. I'll also be able to see kind of some recent expenses up here. And I'll also be able to see some high level information that I may want to move forward with. So the other place you can get more information from is when you hit the three dots in the top left. So the key pieces of Zoho Expense are adding in expenses and then creating a report to then get reimbursed. Whenever you create a report, you can then send it to your management and we'll talk about those in separate videos. They will approve it and you will get reimbursed for those expenses. So if I click on the expenses tab here, it shows me all of my expenses, whether they've been reimbursed or not. So at any point in the future or past, you can go and find all of the expenses that are reported or unreported. You can also click this tab at the top and kind of filter through all of this. If I click this again and go to reports, this will actually be the tab of the reports that I have submitted. So at any point you can click on any of these and see the individual reports and I'll show that in separate videos. So the key of this app, and most people don't leave this homepage, is there's this plus here. This plus allows you to quick add things. Number one is expense. Number two is mileage. Number three is mileage, but you can record GPS. So in a separate video, I'll go through actually adding all of these and how easy it is to do. However, this is kind of the general overview of where to go. There's also a photo in the bottom middle of the page. That is to take pictures of receipts. Some people prefer to do that rather than adding it manually. It's completely up to you. The last piece I wanna outline here is at the top, unreported expenses, unsubmitted reports, submitted reports. Basically what this does is filters all the stuff that needs to be done or has not been submitted in some little tiles. So you don't have to go searching for it. So when I click unreported expenses, you can now see where all of that is. So hopefully this gives you a good overview of the application. And in the next video, we'll show you how to actually utilize submitting expenses. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.